on the auto car show today an extremely high performance machine now when we talk about high performance you can't get any higher than that that's the indian navy's mig 29k indian navy fighter pilots have the best job in the world they fly the mig 29k a carrier based fighter that's nothing short of a demon in the air crazy thing is the 29k is also insanely fast on the ground it has to be the aircraft carrier deck it has to get off is only 190 or 200 meters long and it has to get to 200 km before it can lift off that ski ramp the launch sequence is fascinating to watch the engines go to full thrust and then the restraining blocks are dropped Time taken seven or eight seconds, and that's seriously quick for something that weighs twenty tons. But where does it get all that performance from, and how is the 29K, the carrier-based version, different from the normal one? Let's start with the important bit. So we're at the business end of the MiG 29K, and what you see here are the two Kilmov RD33. M engines that put out 20,000 pounds of thrust each. This device here, that's the arrestor hook. That's what catches the wire when the aircraft hits the deck to slow it down. Other differences are these huge, massive tailerons and flaperons. They're there to slow down the aircraft so it can land easily on the deck. And also for that smack down deck landing, is this kind of undercarriage. It's absolutely overbuilt. It's almost twice the size of a normal fighter jet. Carrier landings are definitely not for the faint-hearted, but let's hear it from the horse's mouth. This is Captain Hota, the man in the MiG. The aircraft lands at a speed of about 270 kmph. We have to land with an accuracy of a few meters. The carrier is moving, it is rolling, it is pitching, it is yawing, and your aircraft is also getting affected by the winds. This clearly is a job for adrenaline junkies, and the best bit is. All you need to do to fly is sign up to be a naval fighter pilot. To keep the MiG pace, we've enlisted the help of an extremely special car. The 640 horsepower Lamborghini Huracan Performante. The key stats here are a 0 to 100 time of just 2.9 seconds. And what makes this an even better fit is that this car has ALA or active aerodynamics. Now, ideally, it would have been perfect to run the aircraft and the car on the Indian Navy's shore base test facility, where the Navy has built a replica of an aircraft carrier on the ground. But while the MiG can get onto the ramp and exit into the blue, There's no space for the car to have a free run. As a result, we decide to use the main runway and the parallel taxiway. But here too, there are a few difficulties. For one, the MiG isn't using its launch control system or hydraulic restraining blocks, and that means the turbines take their own sweet time to make power. So the aircraft is a long way down the runway before it really starts going quick. And then, just as the MiG starts getting into its stride, I have to get on the brakes in the Lambo. The parallel taxiway just isn't long enough. After lots of deliberation and calculations, and a lot of butterflies in my stomach, we decide to run on the main runway. The MiG on the left, and me in the Lambo on the right. Honestly, I don't know what to be more afraid of. The thrust from those nozzles, the heat from the afterburners, or the wake turbulence. To make it more of an even contest, we decide to give each other a sporting chance. The MiG won't be using its launch control, so I won't use the Lambos either. And since the thrust from the turbines take their own time coming in, I'll wait till regular thrust comes in. 
Sarko flying, commencing run. For the final run, the passenger in the seat next to me is the base's commander flying, Rohit Gupte. He's my link to the air traffic control. As we line up, I have to stay away from the exhaust nozzles of the 29K as it turns to get into position. Then I crawl in. rotates the MiG and does a vertical charlie. Flat out, the 29K can do 2,200 kilometers an hour. We just can't keep up with that. Once in the air, there's just no comparison. And then to celebrate, he executes a low pass at around 100 feet and 700 kilometers an hour. Driving a supercar elevates you to another dimension. But can you imagine the thrill, the high and the adrenaline rush the MiG must deliver? We are often told we have the best jobs in the world. But Navy fighter pilots, they truly are a breed apart. What a privilege. <laughs> 